Many of you have heard about our Sister City program. One of the components is the Teacher Scholarship Program, whereby teachers and administrators travel to Hanamaki, Japan, our sister city, every year, and they bring back what they learned into the classroom and into their schools. With me today is Matthew Thornton, who is the Assistant Principal with Lakeside High School. Welcome, Mr. Thornton. Thank you. So you have just tra uh, traveled to Japan very recently this summer. Tell us a little bit about your experience. I did. It was a whirlwind trip. Um, I'm grateful to the Sister City Foundation for the opportunity to go. Um, we left one morning, stopped in Dallas, arrived in Japan late that afternoon, stayed in a hotel. Then the next morning, um, those people had prepared for us a packed itinerary to where we got to see how they run their schools. Uh, we actually got to go into their classrooms and have experiences with their students. It's a very beneficial um, time, time well spent. And now I get to bring some stuff back here, um, particularly to run through this library to where our um, students will get to participate in collaborations and maybe actually reach out through Skype to meet with some of those students. Sounds like you have some ideas already. We do. Excellent. Well, the Sister City program and many of the students from Hanamaki are not unfamiliar to you because Lakeside has hosted them for many years, we correct? Have. We have. And you're actually a sister school? We are a sister school to Hanamaki Higashi. Um, it's one of the schools that we uh, visited on our trip. And this, this fall, we should ha host a delegation of 17 students that will be coming to us. So it, it was nice to be able to have the shoe on the other foot and to be a part of a traveling delegation instead of receiving. And many teachers have gone to Hanamaki on scholarship where literally um, almost all the expenses are paid except for mm -hmm. some, you know, some uh, extra spending money. Uh, but few administrators, you are one of the administrators that in recent years has been um, joining this teacher scholarship program. So what are, what are your uh, impressions as an administrator of the value of being able to go to our sister city? Uh, Mr. Orr, who's our assistant superintendent here, um, he highly recommended that I go. He was one of those first administrator trailblazers, I think. Um, and he, he went last year and brought back some impressions and encouraged me to go and bring back some imp impressions and compare notes. And for, for the most part, when, when I look at the students there, kids are kids everywhere. Like the, walking their hallways, I can look at a kid and I can associate that kid with one of my kids back home. Um, but as far as operations go, there are, there are some significant differences. Um, for instance, here at my school, uh, we have teachers tied to a room and we have um, students travel to the teacher. There, um, students are tied to the room and the teachers travel. And they share an office, the teachers share an office with an assistant principal. And that, that is a concept that blew my mind, quite literally. Um, it, it was literally foreign to me. What are some of the cultural similarities and differences that you observed? Um, so some of the cultural differences that they they are some of the kindest people I've ever encountered. Um, they they took care of us, and and you could tell it wasn't a dog and pony show. They weren't just prepared to do it because everywhere we went, it was the same. And there's no way they could have prepared all those strangers for us. Um, the similarities, the, the the kids are very much, I think, the same as ours. It's 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 uncanny when you go through how how similar. Um, they are in disposition and in and, and inter and, and interactions with us. That certainly lessens the language barrier. It does. Yes. You can see them connecting even without uh, a common language. Tell us about the connection with ASMSA and Japanese language teaching. Um, last year we entered into a partnership with ASMSA to uh, get a teacher on our campus that we would share. Uh, to teach our students Japanese language and that was very much successful. This year uh, we've actually broadened the program a little bit uh, particularly on our campus to where we have not only the um, section 2 Japanese uh, language that our section 1 kids moved over from last year. But this year we had enough student interest that we were able to facilitate two section 1 cor courses. So there, there is good interest here and now we're able to accommodate those interests. That is fantastic. So truly today's students are interested in Japanese language as well as the culture. They are interested and if they participate in the classes and then they're part of the sister city delegation they won't have that language barrier. They'll already have some language under them before they go. Becoming global students. Yes ma'am. Yes. Tethered to the world. What about future plans with the sister city program? What do you see? Well I mentioned that we're going to host the 17 students that are coming um, and we're going to uh, get get into a better habit 
of ingraining that into our school culture. Um, we're going to use this facility here uh, to do a lot of collaborative programs to where our um, students that participated in the program this year and myself, um, we're actually going to be the informants. We're going to come in and talk to our kids um, about our experiences and about how they can be a part of it. Uh, and then, like I mentioned, we're, we're going to try to set up to where these classes that we have that are taught by our Japanese teacher will actually connect two classes in Japan by Skype, one night here, one morning for them. Um, and, and we're hoping to build connections to where it is great to travel overseas, but you don't have to necessarily get on a plane and travel 12 hours. You can connect here and benefit from these experiences. Let's mention the other teachers that went with you this year on the delegation. Yes, ma'am. Um, we had uh, two teachers from Cutter Morningstar and the dean at the Math and Science School, um, David Slaymaker. Um, he, he actually went early to meet our Japanese teacher and paved the way for her coming back. And then Heather Hughes and uh, Sarah Richardson. Sounds like a great group. It was a great group, and it was, it was fun to get to interact with professionals outside of a school setting, but also to have the experiences that we had together. Is there anything else you'd like to add as we wrap up? I, I, I would recommend that um, if you have a student that's in a school um, in Hot Springs, that they actively pursue the opportunity to go to Japan, uh, that they go through the application process, and that they seek scholarship. It's a worthwhile trip. We, we certainly have one of the best sister city programs, not only in the state, and nation, but we've gotten international recognition for the accomplishments of this program. Based on the experiences I had, that's not hard to imagine. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for joining us My today. My pleasure. And next week, we'll bring you more city news.